My daughter was four years old. We recognized, I can't remember how, I think she was banging on toy pianos, that she had true musical ability. So we went out and bought her an upright piano. It was kind of beat up, didn't have all 88 keys. It's only three or four hundred dollars. She loved it. She started playing, and by about the age of six, we recognized that she actually had musical talent worth pursuing. So we enrolled her in a class with a piano teacher, and once a week she played piano, and by the age of eight, she was so good, the piano teacher took us aside and said, you've got to buy her a grand piano. Now, the guys in the room, follow along with me. <laughs> grand pianos start at $10,000. Then, depending on whether you want the Liberace diamond-studded, you know, cover, it can go up to eighty, ninety thousand dollars. She's eight years old. She's good with the piano, but you know, do you have an extra ten or twenty thousand dollars lying around? I did my usual kicking and screaming, and eventually I went for it. <laughs> we bought we bought the grand piano. When the delivery date was scheduled, two or three days out, the movers were going to bring the piano. I mentioned to my daughter that in trade, we were going to give in the upright piano. We get three or four hundred dollars off, that's the way they do it, give you a deal. When my daughter heard that the upright piano was going to be leaving the house, she broke into a sob. Not a kid's wailing, but kind of a death of a parent kind of sob. It's the only piano I've ever known. Why do we have to get rid of it? Can't we keep them both? She went on like this for days. I did everything in my fatherly powers to tell her that days after the old piano was gone and the new piano was there, she wasn't even going to miss it. Wrong approach. <laughs> I talked to her about how we really didn't have the room and how it would be so nice to just have the one and focus on that. Still didn't work. No matter what I did, she went on and on like this for days. The big day was approaching. I knew I had to get her to a place where she could accept the new piano. Let go of the attachment. We took pictures of her standing next to the piano. We took pictures of her playing the piano. The whole deal. Finally, out of desperation, and I guess just sheer luck, with about an hour to go before the movers were coming, I said to her, Val, look at it this way. They're going to bring you a brand new, beautiful piano. They're going to take the old one. I know you're going to miss it, but they're going to bring it back to the store. They're going to put it in the store, and some other parents are going to walk through the store, and they're going to see that piano, and they're going to buy it for their four-year-old their, their four little girl. And her face changed, and I knew she was able to let go of her attachment when she said, Or well, maybe it'll be a little boy. <laughs> impacted me. If an eight-year-old can give up a prized possession like that, which is so dear to her, I could learn to give up stuff that I've been hanging on to. You can learn to give up stuff that you've been hanging on to. We can all get better at this. We really can.